like it's working out pretty nice. Yeah, it's done pretty good. It's a lot of straw. A lot of straw here. Some places it don't get rid of it. Hi Big Tractor Power fans, in this video I'm going to have the opportunity to get behind the wheel of a John Deere 9470 RX narrow track tractor. I'll be driving this tractor while working on some fall tillage in a western Kentucky field with a Kuhn Krause Gladiator 1205 strip till bar. In this video you'll be able to see what it's like to sit in the driver's seat of a big John Deere tractor like this and how all the different controls and computer systems work to allow the tractor to get the job done out in the field. I'll also take a close-up look at the Gladiator row unit on the Kuhn Krause 1205 strip till bar, and you'll be able to see how the different pieces work together to prepare the seed bed for next year's corn crop. Before we get underway in the cab of the tractor, let's take a quick look at this machine's specifications. John Deere introduced the narrow track version of the four track RX series of tractors for model year 2018. This tractor is set with a 120 inch wheelbase and is equipped with 24 inch belts. This tractor is best suited for row crop work such as the strip tillage that we're seeing here or pulling a planter. If you wanted to do additional row crop work, such as side dressing a standing corn crop, then the tractor would have to be fitted with narrower 18 inch belts. This big tractor weighs in at 54,000 pounds. It's equipped with a John Deere 13.5 liter 826 cubic inch engine rated at 470 horsepower. It's equipped with a 400 gallon diesel fuel tank and a 22 gallon def tank for clean engine solutions. This machine operates with an E18 John Deere transmission with 18 forward and 6 reverse speeds. A popular question that often comes up from viewers of Big Tractor Power is how much does a big tractor like this cost? According to JohnDeere.com, the list price for a narrow track John Deere 9470RX is $600,000. $449. That represents a major investment for a farming operation, but a tractor like this sees a lot of hours and a lot of use out in the field. In addition to tillage work that we're watching here, this tractor is used for planting and grain cart work. It's used on the grain cart during winter wheat harvest, corn harvest, and soybean harvest. While I was filming the tractor running the Kuhn Krause strip till bar, it just passed over 700 hours of use in 10 months of operation. The farm is definitely getting their investment out of this tractor, taking on a lot of different jobs and acres throughout the year. Now let's head out to the field so we can see what it's like to run this big tractor in fall tillage. Here's a look at the John Deere 9470 RX narrow track from the operator seat. It's got a very nice view, good visibility. You have a large muffler out there, but the cab post conceals it. Good view. You have the double mirror, so I'm able to look down here and see the rear track and the gladiator back there, and also have a good view of the field behind me to that top mirror similar visibility with these mirrors on this side as well. I'm coming up to a pretty good washout, so I'm in ninth gear right now. I'm just going to throttle back a little bit and raise the implement back there. Very smooth ride right over these washouts. We'll throttle up a little bit and I'm in seventh now. We'll jump it back up to ninth gear get it into that six mile per hour range. The 9470RX is on guidance right now and we're coming up here to the headland and it's following this track right here. So as we get close to the headland, I'm going to put the implement up with this switch. Then I'm going to 
turn the tractor around. And it turns pretty tight. It turns pretty tight. What I've got to do is line up to the next guidance line here. That white line down there on the screen. Put it back in. And then I'm going to hit this auto guidance button. And the tractor will straighten out following that line. And then I push this button down and the gladiator is putting on its next 30 feet. We can throttle up a little bit. guidance is really nice especially for the strip till so it's going to line up with the planters in the spring you don't have to steer the tractor it just keeps it on that straight path if i if i was trying to steer this tractor i'd probably leave wavy lines all the way across the field that would be pretty hard to follow in the spring for the planter so it's just the perfect setup when you're doing this kind of strip till operation Turn around again and look back there. See those nice rows that it's plowing into the ground. Just working it where that corn seed needs to go. This field was in winter wheat up until June. The wheat was harvested and then a second crop of soybeans was put in. So you've got a lot of material out on the surface of this field. And the gladiator is doing a nice job and just clearing that straw and bean stubble off and getting it worked up for the corn crop. Those strips will warm up in the spring a little bit faster by doing this type of tillage. And it's working nine inches deep. This tractor and 30 foot Coon Krause Gladiator probably cover anywhere from 150 to 200 acres a day. So it's a really nice tillage setup for the fall. is coming up on a washout here you can see across the field and you can see it down here as well where I've had to lift up the implement each time I've crossed it. Nice thing about this tractor is the E23 drive. You can just bump it back a little bit, slow it down and it's pretty deep when I lift my implement up and over it but you didn't even really feel it at all with the tractor. Those tracks just kind of gap the space and I'm going to drop it back down and start painting my lines again. So now we'll bump it back up, get that six mile per hour mark. Good thing about the strip tillage too is you can see where the sprayers came across here. Double crop soybeans, a lot of compaction. I mean, it's great, you're getting two crops off the same field in one year but you've got multiple sprayer trips for the winter wheat, two for the soybeans and applications, two trips with the combines in one year, two planter passes, two grain cart passes. So a lot of compaction and working this ground nine inches deep is gonna really make a nice seed bed for the corn next year. to a little bit of a wet spot here. The tractor will just go right on through it with those tracks. And you'll see the implement just working through too. Those chains do a nice job. And even though the tractor's kind of spinning a little bit here in the mud, the gladiator just turned the soil over and fluffed it up. And even though it's a little wet right there, the chains really continue to allow that soil to move through so you're not just slicing through mud. Let's take a look at this Kuhn Krause 1205 Gladiator and you can see the row unit here. So we've got a large disc to help hold it in the ground and cut the path. You've got these notch disc blades that start to cut the soil. Then you've got your 
shank point here that's going to dig down. This is set to 9 inches. You can see here it can go from 6 inches, set at 9 inches, and goes all the way up to a 12 inch depth. And then you've got a wavy coulter in the back here that's going to help create that berm. And what I really like, and notice when you're starting to get wet, it's raining a little bit right now, you have these chains back here and they help fluff the soil up on that berm. So even if you're going through a little bit of a wet spot, it's going to throw it up there and still keep on going and give you that seed bed that you want. And then it's also on a spring reset, so when you're hitting a hard spot, it's going to pop out of the ground. Really nice unit and it's doing a great job here in Western Kentucky. Let's watch how this works here as it goes into action. take a look at the soil left behind does a really nice job nice loose seed bed good dirt and then you're leaving this residue in between the rows a lot of straw and beans left behind not beans a grain but beans the stubble I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in this Western Kentucky field seeing fall tillage with this John Deere 9470 RX narrow track tractor. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, I hope you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there is over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. Make sure to click on the notifications bell as well so you'll know when the next Big Tractor Power video is released. New videos are coming out almost every day from the channel. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.